What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2015 Let's Play Haywire Ranch video and today we will be selling some silage at the biogas and we will be mowing some grass fields around the farm and I did finish the seeding off camera but we will not be harvesting that field since it's growing but I would like to wash this tractor and get it nice and clean and uh park the cedar up and i did install manual ignition by request so let's clean this off and uh park up the cedar this uh tractor is coming clean and we always like to keep them in a good condition and uh want to wash off all the dirt uh, just make sure that our equipment is always looking really nice and uh, always clean after we use them. And uh, we will be renting a front loader today since I don't think we have the funds to buy one. And uh, it's a cat uh, front loader. So we're going to open the door. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Because uh, the pressure washer is the same key as it is to open and close this door. So let's back this up here. And uh, thinking we could back it up right here. And there's not too much sheds on this map. But uh, that is fine. It, it doesn't bother me that we keep some equipment outside. And uh, we're going to have to go outside. And... Uh, We're going to have to first lower it. There we go. This makes it pretty much realistic that uh, we have to get out to attach the uh, equipment and detach it. So let's park this up right here for now. Right at the entrance. And uh, we'll be using this for the mowers. And now let's go into the store and let's rent the front loader. So it's the cat, and uh, let's rent it, I'm going to say for one day. That's, that's kind of a lot of money, but I think it's well worth renting it. So, let's go on over, and uh, we need a bucket for it. We'll rent the bucket for the same amount of time. Select on it, and I have to be very careful that I do not click buy because the last time I tried to rent something I clicked buy so here it is this is a very nice cat loader the link will be in the description to this and let's go sell some silage and make some money and please let me know in the comments if you want to see more farming simulator let's play and give me a big like to let me know that you guys really do like this so let's head on over there and uh start to sell some silage all right so we have arrived at the biogas plant and we will be selling all of the silage and i could not uh change the textures because i could not really figure that out but i will look into that and if any of you know how to uh, fix these textures please let me know but it should look like the texture in this bucket and it's maybe that I just need to look a little closer at the uh, files but I will be selling all the silage to make some money and I'm sorry that uh, you guys see the uh, steering wheel turn and keep turning it's just that I use a keyboard and the best thing about this bucket is that you could have it like this and you could dump it like this one bucket is worth 20,000 so it looks like we are going to make a lot of money which is going to be perfect we could buy some more tractors for the farm and I really do like this so uh, I will continue to sell this and see how much money we make probably close to a couple hundred thousand that would be awesome if we could get that much money but uh yeah just have to keep doing this and we're already down to 16 percent and i'm not sure exactly what we started at but yeah that's awesome really really do like this cat loader 
and uh, let's just continue to sell all the silage and at times I need to uh, speed up time to uh, make sure that uh, these don't get completely full but uh, that's completely fine and now let's continue to sell Alright, so we have one more bucket here, and it's 85% full, and we made quite a lot of money off this, which is awesome for the farm, and we can expand our equipment, and uh, we will be purchasing the mowers, we won't be renting them, and uh, let me know guys if we should buy another tractor, but uh, let's keep this loader here just in case... We want to make some more silage and sell it because we still do have 21 hours left. So uh, let's leave this here and select on over to this tractor and let's head on over to the store. And uh, the sun is setting but we have a little bit more time before it does and I want to get as much work done as we can today before the sun sets. So we are going to buy the mowers, and these are just the in-game mowers. I kind of like them, so I will just use them. And uh, we need to not open that door, put the front lever down, and uh, let's buy these mowers. And it's the really big one and the front one. I don't want to get the side one. I kind of like this one a lot better. So uh, this will be perfect for us. And uh, we'll attach the front one first to act as a counterweight because that uh, tall wing one is pretty, pretty big. So let's come on out, attach it, and uh, I need to lower that arm. Let me see which one that is. Was that it? No, that was not. There we go. That's a little bit more realistic. Now let's lift that mower up. This doesn't lift that much, but it will do for us today. And we will be mowing two properties right next door to us. And attach this one. And I gotta remember to open this door. I think opening the door makes it pretty realistic. Just that I have to remember to do that. So let's head on over to the two places that we are going to mow. And this tractor should have enough horsepower. We're going to max out the horsepower, but uh, I think it's well worth that maxing out. And uh, the field is right up here, which is awesome. I'm really excited that we're branching into new and exciting features in Farm Sim. That we usually don't do, but uh, yeah, let's let's expand that and uh, turn it on once it uh, goes and completely unfolds. And I think, do I have to connect a PTO? Oh yes, we do. Z. That's why it's not working. Connect the PTO. That's awesome. That's pretty realistic. And uh, I knew that I, something wasn't happening correctly because I wasn't getting any message. 
when you should be getting a message. So let's just continue and mow this property and uh, then we will probably rent a wind rower. I have a really cool modded one and I think if we have all the funds we'll purchase that and uh, yeah this, this mowing will go by really quick and I really do like using these really big wing mowers because they are pretty efficient and some of the in-game equipment I actually kind of like to use even though I use a lot of modded equipment and uh, let's continue this but I think that uh, selling all that silage at the biogas gave us a big big boost in our funds and in the bank account for this farm and I'm really excited that we got and earned that much money so I'm thinking we should mow all this and what I was thinking about all this grass is we put all this and turn it into silage I think silage right now is an option to help us boost our bank account here and I think that would help out a lot and uh, please let me know in the comments if you want me to expand into doing cows and I'm thinking cows would be awesome to do but I gotta look into it and see if this map has the uh, cows working because I believe that this wasn't completely finished map but it looks really nice and that's kind of why I chose to use this map for let's play series but yeah I will continue to mow here and uh, get this property completely mowed Okay, so now this is almost done and we have one last pass here and a little bit over there and that's going to be it for the mowing and I mean we did mow a lot this was a really big field I did not actually expect for it to be this big but uh, it's fine it's going to get us a lot of money and what I will be doing is we will be either renting or purchasing a wind mower and I'll start it and then finish the rest off camera because this is quite a lot but uh, let's come on over here we'll just cut through right here and uh, just park up these mowers and uh, we will be using this tractor but we will have to rent a wind mower which is completely fine and uh, it's kinda awesome that we are getting these really big uh, fields finished but uh, back this up and I think I'm just going to leave my door open for these and so there's kind of a lot to uh, disconnect here and then uh, we'll drive on over to the store and uh, we will pick up the rented wind mower and this is the wind mower that I am using is off the official website and yeah, just had to disconnect the PTO on both, but uh, let's rent it, and then we will call it a day. And I like this because uh, it's just awesome, and it's just easier to store, and it doesn't have really large, and doesn't require a lot of space to store, which that's why I use this. But uh, it's getting kind of late here on the farm, and I will pick this up, and then... I'll start it but then we will call it a day because like I said it is getting late and we made a lot of money and made a lot of progress this episode which I'm really really excited about. It's always nice to uh, make a bunch of money <laughs> in each video. We're going to back up here going to attach the uh, PTO and uh, always have to connect that unless it does not want to be connected. Okay, I think it already connected, which is fine. So let's head on over there and unfold this. And like I said, this unfolds, and it's kind of the same width as the other ones, but it's more compact. And I like that, how it's more compact, and it's awesome. So uh, we'll unfold this, and like I said, I'll start it, but uh, we won't finish this on camera. 
And I'm trying to think of which way this throws all the grass. Going to have to lower it. And I think I need to hook the PTO up. Let's see. Does it not have enough power? Okay, so I'm going to figure this out off camera, but please let me know what you thought about this, and like always, like, comment, and subscribe!